Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. Today I'm going to be talking about processing 3D scan data inside of Arctic Studio 18. For those of you that are unfamiliar with this technology, Arctic 3D scanners can produce some really clean and accurate 3D scans. However, when you're done scanning, you technically don't have a mesh. What you have is a composition of hundreds or thousands of scan frames. This is what we refer to as raw scan data. And on any of your scans, you can actually double click on them and page through all of your scan frames if you want to. So to obtain that clean and accurate mesh, we have to process and align all of these scan frames together. So let's take a look at my part here. What I have is just a water pump and I have three scans. And usually the best practice for a smaller medium sized part is to obtain a top scan, a bottom scan, and also a side scan. So the reason we do that is to make the alignment process easier. When there's more overlap, it's easier for the software to align the three scans together. So to process these scans, the first step is to get rid of any unwanted data. In this case, all three scans have a base. So I'm going to go into the editor, click on the eraser tool, and what I'm able to do is select just the base so I can erase it. I can click on base selection, hold control and click on the base, and as you can see, the software selects the base. Now don't worry if you're going to get rid of a little bit of data. Remember, we have three scans, and we obtain that data in the other two scans. All you have to do is hit Erase, and the base is gone. Now I can do that for the other two scans. So I'll hide this one, turn on Scan 2, and do the same exact thing. I'll hold Control and click on the base. Click Erase, turn that one off, and turn on Scan 3, and do the same exact thing. Click Erase. The next step is to align all three of these scans together. For that, I'm going to click on the Align tab. The blue dot basically represents your registered scan, essentially your fixed scan. And the gray dots mean we're going to align those two scans to the first one. Now, because we have a top, bottom, and side scan, we have plenty of overlap. So that means I can turn on Auto Alignment. And because I have all that overlap, the software is able to give me a really good alignment. All I have to do is click on Align and the software gives me a really good alignment. So we align those three scans together. However, we need to align the scan frames within those three scans. For that, we're gonna click on Tools, and the next part of the process is Registration. This feature will align the scan frames from every single scan you have selected. I'll click on Run. Depending on the size of your scans, this process could take a few minutes. As a best practice, we like to keep every scan under 2,000 frames. So once that's done, you'll notice that we still have some floating data, some spike edges. We refer to this type of data as outliers. And if we want to get rid of that, we can click on outlier removal and run that feature. And once it's done, you can see that it got rid of all of those outliers. So we aligned all of those scan frames together and we removed all of the outliers. The next step is to actually merge and fuse all of those scan frames together. So I'll go under fusion and click run. And as I mentioned before, depending on the size of your scans, this process could take a few minutes. And by fusing all of those scan frames together, the software creates an actual clean and accurate mesh. And as you can see, we have a lot of great detail. This is actually scanned with the Arctic Space Spider, and we can actually see some of the lettering on this part. If your objective is to reverse engineer this part, this is the last step. You wouldn't need to add any texture. However, if you still want that texture on the part, you can click on the Texture tab and select the scans that you want to pull texture from, select Preview, and Apply. And you can see that the texture has been mapped around the nice clean mesh. If you want to modify the texture, there are some settings you can change here to get better results. But this actually looks really great, so I'm just going to hit Apply. And that's how easy it is to process 3D scan data in Arctic Studio 18. Thank you for watching.